Okay, today we have very interesting cystoscopy, one more cystoscopy, but it was interesting because uh, the patient come from abroad, but her bladder was completely healthy. And uh, the leukoplakia, I see the leukoplakia with rigid cystoscope, very close to these ureteric orifice, all the trigon, trigon here, And this is all, as you say, see, this is all leukoplakia areas. So, previously, when I see such a patient, I was going with the rigid normal instrument inside and fulgurating these and finishing these, okay, like this. N uh, but then now, I changed the procedure, and now I am looking with the flexible one. Flexible cystoscope has a different angle of view. It go inside, bends over itself, and from upside down, when I look to the bladder, I see all the bladder neck was also covered with leukoplakia. And there were a different vascular structure that I, didn't, I couldn't notice. In the left side, a big vein was circulating like this. And this was only visible with the flexible one. So I want to also cure this vein because it looked abnormal. It was not normal. So we go inside with the rigid instrument again. And it's very hard to define the borders for this. Then what we do is we make some borders. We, we mark the borders of the lesion. All the parts. And here I made the borders mistakenly like this. Then when I go and again go inside with the flexible, and when I look, I notice that these parts are not covered inside my borders. So I make such a fulguration. And at the end, we make another control with the flexible uh, to see it's all finished, all covered. She had some polyps here. This is also visible with the flexible. It's very difficult to understand them with the rigid one. So I, I say as a summary, uh, with my experience, now over 800 cases like this, I can say doing a cystoscopy with the, only with the rigid instrument is not enough. We have to go inside with the flexible at the beginning or in the middle of the procedure to see with a second different angle of view to understand the bladder anatomy more clearly and to understand the uh, diseased parts uh, that needs treatment more clearly. And by this way, I think my success rate is get a little bit higher. I don't have the real correct numbers now, but previously it was 80%. Now it, I think it will be a little better uh, with this new technique.